Hi everyone, this is Matt Miller, Dean of Online Instruction. Today I'd like to just take a couple of moments to show you how to start, set the start and end dates in your Canvas courses. As you know, you have the ability to override the default start and end date that comes along with the term settings in your course. So if you want to allow your students a couple of uh, days uh, head start on the course or if you need to give them a little extra time after the course officially ends, then you're able to override those settings. So here's what you do. First, what you want to do is go into one of your classes here. I'm just going to click on one of my course cards here on my dashboard. Next, you're going to want to go all the way down to your course settings. So scroll all the way down to the course settings and click there. Good. Now in your course details tab, here if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that your term, uh, the term listed here is fall 2018. And with that is the uh, uh, start and end date, which is April, uh, excuse me, August the 27th and December 15th, which is the end date. Uh, so classes officially begin on August the 27th and officially end on um, December 15th. If I want to override those dates a bit, what I need to do is go down to the start area and choose the little calendar icon. And instead of the 27th, which is the official begin date, maybe I want to give them the 24th, the Friday before classes begin. So I select the start date a little earlier and click the done button. Notice too that you could set a specific time if you want uh, for when that class will begin and click done. And then on the end date, simply click the end date button and do the same thing. This time I'm going to scroll over to December of 2018. And, and the 15th is supposed, supposed to be the last day of the semester. Well, maybe I'll give them a couple of extra days, uh, maybe until the 18th, for example. And again, you can set the date, uh, the exact time that you wish to have, uh, have them have access uh, to the course as well. And then choose the Done button there. Once you've selected both dates here, then you need to also be sure and check this little checkbox. This checkbox says users can only participate in the course between these dates. This will override any term availability settings. So it's very important that you remember to do that. And finally, the last thing is to scroll to the bottom of the page and select update course details. So you must also at the end be sure and save your settings. Once you've done that, you've successfully uh, overridden the, uh, the, the term dates uh, for the semester, so students will have a couple of days to head start on the course and a couple of days to access the course after it officially ends. I hope that's helpful, and I hope you have a great semester. Thanks, and have a great day.